What's going on Spartans, my name is Smith Knight and welcome back to yet another Doom Eternal video. In today's video we are going to be talking a little bit about the Angels, Seraphim and Heaven in Doom Eternal. First of all I'm going to talk about why the Seraphim blessed Doom Slayer. Why was Doom Slayer the perfect person or the perfect entity to give infinite power, speed and stamina and whatever. And also after that I'm going to dive in into some Doom Eternal Heaven speculations or whatever because as I said before in one of my videos, I only mentioned it, we have never saw Heaven in Doom. Yes, we know that there's a Seraphim in Doom 2016 because that's the entity that bled Doom Slayer, but we have never saw an angel, a holy entity, we have never saw Heaven or whatever. And in the gameplay reveal of Doom Eternal in Quake on 2018, we saw some screenshots that might be Heaven or maybe, as one of my subscribers said, it may be Argent Denner. But that kinda conflicts with the events of Doom 2016 where you actually go to Argent Denner to close down the well and absorb the Argent energy from the raids. But okay, I want to reach 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, and if you are already subscribed, you're a goddamn legend. But please share my videos, comment, and leave a like so I can get more ratings or something like that. I do not know how YouTube works. And I want to reach 1,000 followers both on Twitter and on Instagram by the end of this year, so please follow me there. Links are in the description box below. And so... <laughs> Oh, but so without further ado, Spartans, let's begin. So, as you Spartans may already know, in the Doom 2016 lore there exists a Seraphim, a being an entity that blessed the Doom Slayer with incredible power. But what is a Seraphim? The name Seraphim clearly indicates their ceaseless and eternal revolution about divine principles, their heat and kindness, the exuberance of their intense, perpetual, tireless activity, and their elevative and energetic assimilation of those below, kindling them and firing them to their own heat, and wholly purifying them by a burning and all-consuming flame, and by the unhidden, unquenchable, changeless, radiant, and enlightening power displaying and destroying in the shadows of the darkness. Pretty much, this is the exact same definition of the Seraphim in Doom 2016. What the Seraphim did to the Doom Slayer, it made him unquenchable, it made him incorruptible, well, no, it, he was already incorruptible. The reason why the Seraphim gave the Doom Slayer power, it was because the Doom Slayer was already incorruptible, and he was never going to be corrupted by the forces of hell. He was never going to turn into the dark side of the Force or on the dark side of the enemies. <laughs> As you Spartans already may know, Heaven and Hell hate each other so much. Lucifer hates God, God hates Lucifer, and they're having on at each other for a very large amount of time. Hell tries to corrupt people, bringing them to the dark side, bringing them to do bad things, and Heaven, and Heaven tries to purify people, make them go to the light side, make them be good. And so in the lore of Doom 2016, it states that the Doom Slayer hates demons with all of his might because or his son was turned to the icon of sin, or the Doom Slayer is actually Doom guy from the Vanilla Dooms and he hates demons because they killed his pet rabbit Daisy or because the Doom Slayer was a Night Sentinel and he was protecting the raids and the people of Argentinur and Hell took over Argentinur and killed all of his people. We do not know which of these three reasons are true, but the Doom Slayer hates demons a lot. He wants nothing to do with the demons, he wants demons to be eradicated from existence. And so, Heaven is always watching Earth, Heaven is always watching all of life, and when Heaven or when the Seraphim saw that there was a dude powerful enough to be able to defeat the forces of hell for forever, and that that creature or that entity, the Doomslayer, was so powerful that he was never going to be corrupted by the forces of hell, and he was never going to be turned to the dark side, what did the Seraphim did? The Seraphim didn't turn the Doomslayer into an unstoppable force because he wanted to, because he wanted to save him, no. The Seraphim, or Heaven, turned the Doom Slayer into an unstoppable force because it was on their best interest. It's like if you have the power to give infinite power to an entity and that said entity is powerful enough to beat the forces of hell 
and you can make him even more powerful and you hate the forces of hell then it would be in your best interest to give power to that entity because pretty much heaven in doom is doing anything the doomslayer himself is stopping the forces of hell before there was an endless battle between heaven and hell and now the doomslayer is a medium the only thing heaven needs to do is give infinite power to the doomslayer for him to be able to kill the demons forever for him to be able to stop the demons forever pretty much the existence of the doomslayer was a gift to God himself because he has nothing to do now heaven is doing nothing in the doom universe right now yes we see some concept illustrations of doom eternal that might be heaven and for obvious reasons maybe the doomslayer is going to visit heaven as well as well as hell because if the doomslayer is in heaven it's because hell is in heaven as well but yes the seraphim bestowed power into the doomslayer not because he wanted to save him but because it was on his best interest now what about hell Heaven in Doom Eternal. As you Spartans already may know, I talked about this a little bit in one of my videos. I think it was my video of Easter eggs on Doom Eternal, something like that. But I never made a video talking specifically about Heaven. And there has been a lot of people, like look at the screen, there's this much people wanting me to talk about Heaven or mentioning Heaven and the Seraphim in one of my videos or in every one of my videos. Like Heaven is a very interesting concept in Doom and pretty much everyone wants to see a bit of heaven or a, or a large portion of heaven in Doom Eternal. As you Spartans already may know, in the game preview of Doom Eternal at QuakeCon 2018, we saw some concept illustrations, and one of those was very angelic. But one of my subscribers said that, why will heaven have a skulls on the ground or skulls in the walls that's not holy so he said that maybe this is Argent Denner or the true form in quotes form of Argent Denner and that conflicts a lot with the events of Doom 2016 because in Doom 2016 the Doomslayer himself goes to Argent Denner to close the portal to close the well to pretty much seal the power the Argent energy from the raids to the crucible but when you actually explore Argent Denner you can see the wasteland and it's pretty much a rock floating in the sky. It pretty much reminds me of Demis in Hell and the Vanilla Dooms. So maybe when Argent Denur was absorbed by Hell, it didn't absorb the whole dimension or planet or whatever. It just absorbed the, the small portion where the raids resided. That's why you can see a pillar of the Doomslayer handcrafted by stone. Like th that place was actually Argent Denner, but maybe not in its pure form. That's actually a very interesting concept because everyone knows that hell absorbs dimensions. Everyone knows that hell is a dimension invader. And after they have destroyed the whole dimension or planet or whatever, they absorb it into their dimension. But maybe for some unknown reason, hell only absorbed the area where the herates resided. So maybe in this concept illustration, maybe this is actually Argent Denner instead of heaven. Yes, we can actually see two illustrations that are look holy. This one and this one. And to be completely honest, I think this one is actually Origin Denner in its purest form, or in its true form. And this one is actually Heaven, because... And actually, when the Doomslayer picks up the Crucible in the ending of the QuakeCon 2018 gameplay reveal, the, when he's against the Archvile, you can see that the Crucible has the Argent Denner mark. The same Argent Denner mark that is on its helmet, and the same Argent Denner mark that is inside Argent Denner. But you can see there are a lot of signs handcrafted into the Crucible as well and this exact sign it's seen in one of the areas in the concept illustrations and in the area exploring thing and this area that i say is actually argent nerm has the exact same sign. So this may be a hint that actually we never saw the real Argent Denner in Doom 2016. We only saw a portion of that. And that we're going to see the actual, the, the real Argent Denner in Doom Eternal. And that we may actually see the people of Argent Denner, that we may actually see Night Sentinels or something like that. Well, no Night Sentinels because they are actually extinct. There were only five Night Sentinels and the Doom Slayer was one of them. Or maybe he was one of them or maybe he's Doom Guy. But we may see Argent Denner in Doom Eternal as well and Heaven as well. If Heaven is known by one thing, it is that everyone in Heaven always wears white robes or something like that. Like the palette is always white. Everything is white in Heaven. White 
clean and pure, purifying uh, palette or something. And this other area kind of looks like Argentina because you can see a coliseum, you can see buildings or whatever, and it doesn't look like angelic and holy. It gives me the vibe of an ancient race, maybe the Argentinians or something like that. Honestly, I really want its software to give us heaven in Doom Eternal because the concept is very, very interesting. I just part of what I may know, um, not always heaven is the good guys. Sometimes heaven are the bad guys as well. I'm not saying that hell is the good guys, but sometimes heaven and hell are bad for humanity. And this may be the same case, or maybe, I don't know. It would be interesting to see that heaven is actually bad for humanity, that the Doom Slayer is fighting both angels and demons at the same time. It would be a good twist because, okay, everyone knows that the Doom Slayer has been fighting demons forever. Doom Guy, Doom Guy from Doom 3 and the Doom Slayer from Doom 2016, they all fight demons or wrong experiments or something like that. And I think that it may be a good twist to fight angels in Doom Eternal. I'm not saying that if it software doesn't do that, that the game is going to be bad, but I think it will be a good twist like, oh, the Dooms are killing demons and now he's killing angels, what? What I can do? He's killing gods now? Something like that. Also, why didn't the Seraphim bestowed power into the Doomsayer before when he was on Argentinor? Well, because he had no interest in doing that. Because, okay, the Night Sentinels were protecting the raids and the people from Argentinor from the demons from hell. They could do it by themselves because in the Codex Centuries or in the Lore of Doom, it states that hell has been trying to have or trying to absorb the Argent energy from the raids from a very long, long time time, but they couldn't do it because the raids were giving infinite power to the Night Sentinels, and the Night Sentinels were doing a very, very good time. The raids in Doom had the Argent energy, they were like gods in Argentinor, they were very powerful, and they were giving power to the Night Sentinels. Look at it like this, Argentinor had five Doom Slayers, basically, they were very, very powerful, but when the Betrayer, or the one that sold Argentinor for his son, betrayed Ordinaneur and left the demons to the raids, the raids were stripped from their power and the Night Sentinels were powerless to do anything because they didn't have the Argent power on their back. They didn't have power, they were powerless. But for some unknown reason, the Doomslayer was powerful enough to be able to kill every single demon for thousands of years. And when the Seraphim saw that the Doomslayer was very powerful, even without Argent power on his back, he bestowed him with more power to, okay dude, you have hey, here, you have more power, kill demons for me, I do not want to do anything. And as I said before, the Argent Denur we see in Doom 2016 might be a little portion of Argent Denur. Maybe in Doom Eternal we will see the true Argent Denur and we may see people from Argent Denur, I do not know. We know that in Doom there are no NPCs, never, we, we never see someone helping us in Doom. Not in Doom games, we see people helping us in Doom 3, but not in Doom 2016 for the exception of Vega and in quotes Dr. Samuel Hayden and that may be the same thing for Doom Eternal but imagine if we go to Origin and Earth, the true Origin and Earth, and we find people from Origin and Earth wanting to be Night Sentinels and pretty much we have NPCs helping us fighting demons like UAC staff or Origin Denurians. I don't know, that would be pretty cool. I'm just rambling, so I'm going to end this video right now, honestly. And yes, that's everything I want to talk about. I'm sorry if this video is not planned or something like that. I didn't plan this video, I chose to woke up, I do not have a script, so everything I'm talking about is from my head. And I am Mexican, so... I may have to cut like 40 minutes of this video because I started a lot because el inglés no es mi idioma, tienen que saberlo, <laughs> soy mexicano, entiendan? And so please leave a comment down below what you think about this video, leave a comment down below what do you think about the Seraphim, why the Seraphim bestowed power into the Doomslayer and what do you think about heaven in Doom Eternal, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I don't know. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe. And so, okay, Spartans, that is all for today. If you guys liked the video, slap a like on it. I'll greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye, take care, and I love you very, very much. Thank you for watching, Spartans. I really do appreciate it. Bye bye. Mwah.